Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So after spending all day uh, on grinding the frogs in order to get the uh, required XP, which is about 37 million, we are here back again fighting Daenerys' second and more difficult manifest battle. Now if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So in this video, we actually have a treat of sorts. We have three different ways to beat um, this fight. And usually I do put up two different ways. However, in this case, I wasn't able to go uh, all free units. So I apologize in advance for that. But they are different strategies. So let's go with the first one. Now remember that Dunerith is wind. And so we can use fire attacks or wind attacks against uh, it without any penalty. In this case, we're going to do a straight two turn uh, slash zone AF. And we are going with the same kind of um, team that we went with the first fight, which is essentially an all katana team uh, powered by um, AS Akani with Manifest, of course. We got Xion and AS Sukiya in her katana form instead of her uh, ES form. So, of course, the whole point is to power up your team, do a large AF here. We're going to use a Nant Man, and keep in mind that it's been boosted with. Uh, the manifest. We also uh, want to put Howling Surge with AS Sukiya. And then once we get three stacks, we activate Princess of Divinity, which speeds up all our Katana users by a fair margin, as well as gives all Katana uh, users additional attack power as well. After that, it's all about stacking three additional stacks onto Sukiya, because uh, for every stack up to three, it kind of does an additional attack. And so what we really want to do after the AF is do a large attack. Now, one of the tricks here that I noticed afterwards in subsequent tries is that Daenerys boosts his own speed quite dramatically. And if you don't kill him here, he does a large AoE that does, I would say, tens of thousands of damage. Now, if you're wondering how my team outsped it, don't forget that Annette Man helps uh, Akane speed up. Also, uh, Xion with Manifest speeds himself up with multiple attacks. Ia Sakia with the... Um, Princess of Divinity speeds up all the uh, Katana users, and she's really fast on her own. So I'll show the Loda at the end of this particular fight. And so, uh, thank goodness we had a really fast team. Otherwise, in general, Daenerys will outspeed your team uh, by a fair margin and land that large magical AoE. Um, so my guess is that he has clearly over 300 speed, and I'm not actually sure exactly how much. Um, but in our case, remember that once we multiply our speed uh, by, I think it's either 40 or 60% with uh, Princess of Divinity, you do get um, speeds on our Katana team of upwards of 400. So probably more than enough uh, to handle uh, the speed differential on Daenerith. So let me know in the comments below how you tackled uh, this relatively difficult fight, uh, whether or not you just overpowered it, or if you just had to outspeed it, or in some cases, slow it down as well. Don't forget also, AS Sukiya's attacks are based on speed, so you really want to have a high speed badge and speed based uh, equipment and Grasta on her if you really want to uh, do a lot of damage. So in our second example, we're going to go with another strategy. So remember that in our first example, we really had to outspeed Daenerith, otherwise it would crush you. Now at first glance, I actually used uh, the same Pierce team, and I tried to use AS uh, Hozuki to beat it. And even with acute inciting and three stacks of Stormbite with Claude to speed up our team, my team got outsped by Dunareth after the HP stopper and got team wiped right away, which was really ridiculous. And so we're going with um, OG or normal style Hozuki with Manifest. Don't forget that with Manifest, she actually has a priority attack that um, does minus 80% speed on the enemy. Now, before, um, there wasn't really a need to speed down speed, uh, you know, down speed the enemy so much, being that you could really overpower, and for the most part, if you have a 250 to 300 speed um, team, you probably outspeed the vast majority of mobs and bosses. However, in the case of Daenerys, I found that that minus 80% speed was necessary to survive and outspeed um, Daenerys after the HP stopper. And in this case, we are going to rely on Ia Sukiya um, to kill, uh, deal the killing blow. And you can see the Grasta Lodo at the end of this particular fight. Um, I have 
uh, found that Iyasuki is extremely powerful and if you want to learn a little bit more about her, make sure you check out my 5 star review of her as well as uh, many other 5 star reviews on my playlist on my channel. Alright, so that was pretty fun. And so, first battle was obviously using Fire Slash. This one is kind of like a Wind Pierce. Now, I'm not sure if um, you use another um, zone setter, whether like uh, Pierce zone setter, whether or not you'll deal enough damage, uh, being that uh, Dunera should be able to resist water attacks. And so, someone like AS4 or even the newest uh, Pierce zone unit Aeshila may not be able to deal enough damage although if you have powerful uh, other powerful um, pierce units you might be able to still deal enough damage to the enemy and I'm guessing that uh, this manifest probably has somewhere between 15 and 20 million uh, HP being that all the newest uh, fights seem to be around that mark so after the HP stop rate you'll probably still have to deal around 10 million or so which leads us to our third and final fight of the video. And so in this case, we're going to use an uh, extremely overpowered team, uh, all high-powered gacha units. Uh, I've probably showcased uh, these units before, ES Molina, um, Melissa, Pizzica, as well as Milsha. And so all we have to do is, uh, with the right Grasta and move setup, we're going to do a one-turn uh, flash strike stance AF. And the whole point, again, is to power all our damage and uh, buffs into Milsha, being that remember at the end of turn she has that laser move from the Addis Triana. And if we activate Song, which is a uh, Rhapsody Aria from Pizzica, we will now do double damage while Song is active. And even though Shade attacks are guarded by all manifest fights, we can still do 11 million since remember that in Song, um, Rhapsody Aria doubles the damage of all your units. And so, uh, you know. Milsha was able to do the damage. Note that I do have a Grasta holder in the back. Um, in this case, just the HP max uh, for Lance. And of course, we also have shared Grasta through Melina ES, being that she is Western and Milsha is also Western. Melissa is, of course, there just for Flash Strike and also for support, Nephrite's Boost, uh, Glint Gale, and so on and so forth. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.